Hello and welcome to the print. There has been a lot of controversy going around the prestigious Sangeet Kalanidhi Award being conferred to TM Krishna. There has been a section which has hailed the decision of the Madras Music Academy to confer this award to TM Krishna while there have been others who have decided to boycott this music festival this year at least six musicians and vocalists have decided that they won't be performing in this festival which includes harikatha exponent dushyant shridhar vishakha hari the sister duo rajni and gayatri they won't be performing at this event and today we are joined by the brilliant music duo from the carnatic music fraternity ranjani ji and gayatri ji welcome to the print hello brinalini it's a pleasure to connect with you thank you so much for speaking to us and we saw your statement on twitter where you put out your decision to pull out of this music air festival i would like first like to start with that did you receive any backlash or any support that you received after your decision and after you put out your response on twitter ever since we put out the first uh, message of uh, withdrawal on social media and of course through our message to the music academy Uh, we have received uh, basically two kinds of responses one has been a phenomenal wave of support uh, hailing our decision as uh, morally correct and this support and positive reaction has come largely uh, from within the ecosystem from the uh, musicians seniors peers students teachers more importantly the audiences the rasikas as we call them in the world of indian classical music the support has been very nuanced extremely positive in fact it has been phenomenal we have been taken aback by the kind of overwhelming uh, rousing support that we have received from the real listeners of indian classical music of course there has also been uh, criticism coming in uh, but i would say it is largely from uh, the activists uh the placard holders who uh, who i don't think in their entire lifetimes would have listened to more than cumulatively listened to more than 1 hour of classical music uh we are always been open to uh, criticism wherever it comes from so it has been interesting times okay and i would also like to know that are you only withdrawing from this year's festival which might be presided over by tf krishna or do you take i mean do you intend to take this boycott a little further because the academy does not intend to take its decision back anytime soon we have conveyed our decision very clearly that we are withdrawing from this year the future is an unknown uh, thing and uh, i would not like to hypothesize or look too keenly into the years ahead So uh, academy president N Murli said that you posted the letter you sent to him on social media without waiting for his response so could you comment on that firstly we have not posted the letter on social media at all it was we had just communicated uh, our decision to withdraw from participating in this year's uh, music conference presided by uh, mr t m krishna that's all uh if you keenly notice we have not uh, you know posted the letter it may be uh, mr murili is getting confused with other artists who have actually posted the letter we have On only shared this information with our rasikas who uh, uh, who are uh, part of this uh, and we have just explained our reasons like ranjini said we have not posted the letter you also mentioned that you know you felt like that uh, the release from men murali came as if it was on behalf of the awardee could you a little bit uh, elaborate on that well if you uh, look at his response very clearly uh, i mean very closely it is it is very clear that uh, his response is out of anger that two artists have dared to question him or rather uh, withdraw or uh, shown any signs of protest it is very clear to me um when he has said uh, the letter the content of the letter is completely in support of tm krishna it has raised a lot of questions which it has answered in a very verbose terms all those questions that we never raised uh, whether uh, tm krishna is uh, capable enough to re- receive this award uh, his musical prowess all that we have never questioned we have also never questioned the music academy's prerogative to uh, select whomever they want for any award that they want to give so all these things he has uh, he has said and this kind of cast aspersions on us okay 
you also mentioned in your very recent statement that the executive com- committee actually just consists of the brahmins so does this also mean that you agree that there is a brahmanical hegemony in the carnatic music space uh, you know the uh, let me answer this question in a more detailed way um carnatic music is a very very deep art form to, to learn carnatic music to even listen to it requires uh, uh, orientation exposure it's a very powerful and communicative art form but in order to even listen to it you need a little kind of a, a familiarity and orientation and to practice it and to perform requires years of arduous training sadhana as we call it indian classical music often talks of sadhana uh, so uh, it is uh, a certain exposure a certain familiarity comes with certain cultural backgrounds of certain families and it is it is just an existential reality it is not a wall that has been erected to keep away people or to keep within certain bounds so uh, i would uh, we have i think people who are in this ecosystem whether as listeners or as practitioners have always there is no reason to keep away anyone the larger a uh, footprint of this music the greater it is to celebrate greater reason to celebrate that and uh, every musician every rasika would love the idea of the music that is so dear to them being having and enjoying a wider currency don't you think so for this wonderful thing to be enjoyed by a large number of people there is nothing negative about it uh, of course it is a kind of uh, sad that the footprint is limited and everyone out there is doing our bit our hardest to see that it reaches more people that we are able to get in more people that is the um, effort of every musician every student and every um, stakeholder in the system and uh, yeah as we speak that is our effort every day so we are trying to to take this to everyone yeah so do you think that this might be the right time like with tm krishna he has been fighting for the inclusion of the other communities in the space of carnatic music so do you think that this might be the right time to actually involve those people into the community could could be a welcome step by giving this award to uh, tm krishna maybe the giving granting of awards have nothing to do with extending footprints which requires decades years and years of toil and work in the right direction so first of all let us take the award from this question because it is not really relevant uh, the work you know when you create change transformation reform it, it it speaks of a certain commitment to keep your head down and keep working sometimes or generally without recognition without sensation seeking without attention seeking and like i said the direction in which we must walk if we are seriously engaged in the pursuit of increasing the footprint bringing in communities then uh, finding fault and creating divides in the art form and in the ecosystem is not the right direction it means truly taking it to schools to spaces where with a lot of empathy for everyone with a lot of positivity see i also feel that as individuals because we are all after all musicians and we are individuals completely focusing on learning practicing this art form we have our own families we have so many responsibilities are we make a living out of this right so uh, it is not fair to expect expect us to hold placard all the time and say hey hey we are for it if you are not holding you are if you are not a placard holding activist then you are against this 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 it's a very unfair way to uh, you know to form a narrative it's not fair we are all doing our bit in uh, towards spreading this art form so if somebody is uh, saying that they are doing social work whoever be that person uh, what kind of a transformation are they bringing what kind of a change that has been achieved on the ground what are the numbers who have the newer numbers from different communities who have how who have been uh, um, walked into who the who walked in into the this uh, beautiful music. art form the space of this these are all questions these are all areas which need a thorough vetting a thorough investigation and uh, yes i hope uh, a more uh, nuanced investigation will go in to uh, check the veracity of such claims i think he has claimed to have done 10 years of work uh on the field right none, none of us musicians have ever or none from this 
uh, Karnataka Music Fraternity have ever uh, stopped him from doing this. So 10 years is a enough time period to see these transformations. If not musicians, at least they should have uh, brought in a dozen listeners into the fold. Please check it out. If it is true, I'll be the first person. Gayatri and I will be the first person to stand up and applaud and we will welcome it. I actually did reach out to the uh, fisherman people from the fisherman community. He had started a festival with Nityanand Jayaram and the others from the same community. And I spoke to them. They said that, uh, you know, because of him, now people know about uh, them. They speak about them in the Carnatic music space. So we did try to reach out to them also. However, you did say that, you know, it's not about the award. But all this conversation has all started with the award itself. So it's maybe it's not about that, but even your reaction, your tweet or uh, whatever you said, the statement that you put out, it all came out after the award. So do you really think that it is not in the like the award is not actually in the picture? Or no, no, no. What we meant to say is that, uh, like Ranjini said, you know, you don't wake up every morning uh, thinking of how am I going to change the world today? As musicians, every day we get up, we commit ourselves to the pursuit of excellence. We in think music. of how excellence in music, how do we practice? How do we grow? What do we learn? How do we improve ourselves as musicians? So, but now and then there comes events and situations where you are forced to think, where you are forced to respond. And I think we are living through such a time. And therefore, this award and that it brings with it is uh, is indicative of a very, very uh, serious situation. And therefore, we have spoken out. We have always been aware of the kind of fissures and the fault lines that exist in the system. However, this is a time that I think every right-minded uh, uh, stakeholder in the system has to speak out and has to take a stand. Okay. You also mentioned Periyar in your statement earlier. And I did listen to TM Krishna's one of the songs. And its lyrics roughly translates into question caste discrimination, question scriptural uh, regulations, question injustice and untouchability. So even though some of his uh, Periyar's writings have been contentious, and it is not... So do you think that it is not easy to dispute what these lines are saying? Would you agree? I don't think... Uh, I'm not an expert on Periyar. However, uh, it, uh, it is an indisputable, provable fact which has been supported by all the uh, factual uh, shares that have been coming on social media that uh, such uh, the one of the three points that we pointed out in our letter, it is there for everyone to see and I do not, I do not want to keep repeating the same things endlessly. So it is all there. So these are points which are uh, very dangerous and uh, you do not use the language of Carnatic music, with one song you sing something that Tyagaraja says in praise of a certain uh, dharma, a certain ethical uh, values, and then you cannot use uh, the next song to talk and sing the glory of somebody who has actually sponsor, uh, talked for, called for uh, something as uh, vicious as genocide and uh, used, uh, you know, uh, profane filthy, language, yeah. filthy language. And so I think uh, the certain, uh, there has to be a consistency, a certain uh, uh, level of discourse that every musician must bring, especially when you are singing, when you are on an elevated platform, you must use it responsibly. So we have pointed that out. Okay. You told me in your earlier interview that you felt that the response uh, from the academy felt uh, aggressive. So could you elaborate a little bit on that? I think uh, all the letters are now out on social media. Our response, their response and our follow-on response uh, they can translate as different things to different people, depending on which prism you are looking at it. And uh, I would not wish to uh, uh, analyze it any further. I think people are free to read these letters and these and analyze for what it is and you know sift through all the emotional baggage and look at facts with as clear vision as possible. MS Subalakshmi's grandson, he actually said in one of the interviews that while he doesn't agree with what uh, TM Krishna has written about uh, his grandmother in an article, but he does feel that he deserves this award and that this conversation could have been moved forward without men mentioning Subalakshmi or without getting her into this uh, whole conversation. So anything that you would like to say about that? 
first off i think uh, no no enough has been said about this uh, subject i feel that uh, more elucidation or my opinion on somebody else's opinion this will keep on going endlessly you know we don't want to indulge in it i thought that is my two bit on it okay so uh N Murali had said in an interview that you are not talking about music but everything else so do you think that is that a fair comment i think we have raised very pertinent points in our letter and uh, yeah i think that more elaboration on this uh, is not required there has been a lot of uh, words that have been spoken i think the dust needs to settle and i like i said the facts need to emerge and the facts are out there for anyone who is looking at it clearly enough okay and so with everything that has been unfolding in the last past few days and everything do you think that the academy is changing that remains to be seen okay so my last question to you would be that do you think that the carnatic music fraternity is divided or has it already always been divided the well, let us first understand one thing no society in the world is homogeneous we we have spent a lot of thought on many issues and therefore divergence of opinions is a very welcome thing right and that is what we as a community have always been encouraged to develop uh, a very uh, strong value based uh, thought process so my ideology could be very different from somebody else's ideology and we welcome all of it so the, the these fault lines and fissures have always existed uh, in the past it will it has existed it is existing in the present it will exist in the future we have to have a discussion to uh, you know uh, go forward taking into account various ideologies and democratically address it but the one thing i would say which nobody can dispute is the unifying voice of music so long as you pursue music for music and not music to create divides or music for personal agenda music for self aggrandizement these are the problematic areas when you use music for music truly music to create positive upliftment music to create to create true elevation of spirit i think that, that is when um you truly make a change let me give you a musical example for instance you know we talk about inclusion we talk about the forward looking aspect the the universality of classical music we talk about all this but when you express that through music you know we are doing a series of concerts for instance which explore this mm, i will just sing a verse from one of the most inspirational poets tamil poets subramani subramani bharathiyar to show you how beautifully folk music intersects with classical tuni velukka mannunde utumani manam velukka valiye engal maari amma engal maari amma ulagathu nayagiye engal muthu maari ulagathu nayagiye engal muthu maari nin vaaram sharan pugundom engal muthu maari this is an example of how a raga which emanates from the classical music is interpreted in a absolute folk overtones this you see two different kinds of music exist perfectly enriching each other and creating musical radiance and this is the kind of inclusion we should be talking about or you take a music which has been used in film music by somebody no uh, as great as ilaya raja he used the raga shuddha danyasi but look at the way he has used it varinad ha kaadumalli yaarumada paakalaye enanga enakku poothadu kaadukulla varuma varuma veetukulla this is a raga based composition but interpreted in such a beautiful rustic way so we have to talk about building bridges using music not to talk about the walls or the 
assumption that there is a wall we have to build bridges we have to raise above these superficial barriers if they exist and try to keep the flag of music aloft and as long as such inclusive empathetic truly forward looking voices keep singing keep talking keep discussing and engaging i think we can look forward to a society that is truly beautiful inclusive and takes everyone along and that is the message i would like to leave behind i i completely agree with it and with that i have just one last question because that you said that about building the bridges so do you think that this could have been like there has been one section there has been one section who has hailed the decision of madras music academy to you know confer this award to tm krishna while there has been others who have uh, uh, decided to boycott this music festival while there has been other section who has questioned tm krishna's decision to take this award and called it the ghar wapsi of the rebel so do you think that this could also be a step to maybe bridge the gap uh, that has been there like i said from music which is there and to awards which is very materialistic is quite a drop but anyway since you insist <laughs> i will take the question <laughs> ghar <laughs> wapsi should be in the true essence of the term you come back to music and start singing that is the true ghar wapsi that makes a difference one getting an award turning down awards after all awards are emblematic of work that is done in your field and so long as a ghar wapsi indicates a return to good music i always welcome it Okay thank you so much ma'am for joining us thank you so much for speaking to me and to our audience there has been no word from TM Krishna as yet but i did speak to his friend Nitin and Jay Ram who has started uh, an alternative festival with him with a, along with the certain volunteers from the fisherman community he says that TM Krishna is as fine as he was 15 days ago So with this we come to the end of this interview thank you so much ma'am for joining us i am really glad that you came here and it could not have been a better end to this thank you so much for singing for us also and explaining certain things that i think would be very useful for our viewers also so thank you so much for that thank you mrilani ji it was a pleasure talking to you namaste thank you so much ma'am.